Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Department tells us they've recovered both of the bodies and most of the wreckage of the plane that crashed into Lake Winnebago on Saturday. And today we are learning that one of the victims was the daughter of former NFL player Bruce Colley, a two-time Super Bowl champ who was once a member of the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Jason Zimmerman continues to gather details. He's live in Oshkosh with this first alert update. Jason. Cammy, we now know that the pilot of that aircraft was 30-year-old Devin Riley, the oldest daughter of Bruce Cauley. Cauley today went on social media to confirm the information and reflect on this tragic loss. High above Lake Winnebago Saturday morning, a number of witnesses say they heard a plane descending in a hurry just after it took off from EAA Air Venture. We heard a big bang and the time I got turned around, I did not see anything. So I took up with the rest of the boats. When we got on scene, there was a guy that had sight image on the boat and stuff, key figure where, where the plane was. All we really saw was just a lot of debris floating in the water and aviation fuel. After the crash, the pilot was identified as Devin Riley of Guadalupe, Texas, who died along with her co-pilot, 20-year-old Zach Colley Marino. Devin was flying a World War II airplane called a T-6 Texan. Her father, former NFL player Bruce Colley, posted on social media, quote, I trust you, my king, all things to work together for good, end quote. At this point, it's up to the NTSB to determine what exactly went wrong. The investigation will look into that, uh, what the traffic was from the tower. Uh, the, the airplane was here. We don't know if they were departing or simply on a recreational flight right now. But uh, why communications was lost at that point, uh, they're going to have to determine whether it was mechanical, um, some kind of a maneuver, or something else that was involved. Devin was also the co-founder of the Texas Warbirds Museum and just celebrated her third wedding anniversary with her husband Hunter a few days before the crash. Well, the scene of the crash is no longer active. The Sheriff's Department tells me they are working with NTSB investigators to determine if any more dives or searches still need to be conducted. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. Thank you, Jason. Hours after that crash, there was a mid-air collision near the ultralight runway Saturday afternoon between a helicopter and a gyrocopter. The pilot, 69-year-old Mark Peterson of Foley, Alabama, and passenger, 72-year-old Tom Voles of Amelia, Ohio, both died. EAA officials tell us two other people were injured but remained in stable condition but did not release their names. This is the first time since 1992 that more than one deadly crash occurred in connection to Air Venture. 